एनजीओ आरोह एंड एच सी एल फाउंडेशन प्रेजेंट वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल इन स्कूल यूनिफॉर्म स्टिचिंग इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू स्टिच अ डॉक्टर्स एप्रिन दिस काइंड ऑफ गार्मेंट इज वाइडली वोन बाई प्रोफेशनल ऑफ वेरियस इंडस्ट्रीज एज अ पार्ट ऑफ यूनिफॉर्म ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड एप्रिन कैन बी ब्रॉडली क्लासिफाइड इन टू टू पार्ट नेमली द फ्रंट एंड द बैक The front part consists of two front sides, sleeves for both hands, front collar, buttons on the front, and pockets on the side. The back consists of two back parts and a collar on the top. We first take a look at the reference garment, identical to what we are going to stitch. Now for the template we measure each part of the doctor's apron and mark its measurements on a brown paper and cut them in the shape Similarly cut down paper patterns for all the parts Now we start cutting the cloth for the garment. For the front part, we place the front template on the cloth and trace the outline. Prick pins on the template to avoid movement. After this, mark stitching margins. Now cut alongside the outer outline carefully and give slit cuts. Similarly, cut all the parts of the garment leaving along the stitching margins and slit cuts as shown in the chart. This is how they look. Two identical front cutouts, two identical back cutouts, two sleeves, two front collars, two pockets, collar canvas strip for collar and buttons now for the stitching part we fold the straight length of the sleeve twice and stitch along the fold fold the sleeve cut out and stitch along the open ends sleeve is ready repeat the same for another sleeve fold the sleeve and stitch now take the pocket cut out fold the upper side of the pocket twice and stitch along the open ends of the fold repeat the same for the other pocket now match the straight ends of the back and stitch them together leaving a few inches at the bottom unfold the back and give it a lock stitch at the bottom give it a finishing stitch Now fold the lower open ends of the back and stitch together. Now place one front collar cut out over one front collar. Match the ends and stitch together leaving a few inches at the top for the collar. Invert the cloth. Fold the open end of the collar and give it a finishing stitch.
Now unfold the cloth and give it a finishing stitch. Stitch the open ends at the top together. Now fold the garment through the slit cut on the sleeve. And stitch a few inches downwards for the fitting stitch. Now place pocket on the front, fold inwards and stitch from the sides and the bottom. Likewise, repeat the process for the other front part. Stitch the front collar. Give finishing stitch to the open ends. Unfold and give finishing stitch. Fold from the sleeve and give it a fitting stitch. inwards and stitch the pocket. Now place inverted front over back, match and stitch the shoulder. Likewise, stitch the second shoulder. Now match the sides of the front and back together and stitch. Repeat for the opposite sides. Now invert the cloth. Match the center of the sleeve with the center of sleeve opening of the apron and stitch through the circumference. Likewise, stitch the other sleeve with another sleeve opening. Now fold the bottom of the apron inwards twice and stitch along the fold. Now place the canvas cutout over the collar cutout as shown in the visual and fix it by ironing it over. Fold the collar along the canvas and cut the extra cloth. Fold the cloth above the curved end of the collar and stitch.
Fold the canvas backwards and stitch the widths. Cut the extra cloth and unfold the entire collar. Fold the canvas and make a slit cut to mark the center. Now match the center of the collar with the center of the apron and stitch it together. Stuff the top ends of the open collars between the collar and give it a stitch on all sides of the collar. Stitch three buttons parallel on the right front of the apron. And three button holes on the left side in sync with the buttons on the left. Apron is now ready. This garment is widely worn by professionals across various industries and now you should be able to make one yourself by following as shown in our tutorial. You can refer to this chart for measurements across all sizes. For more information, you can reach out to us through any of these mediums. Tell us how you found this tutorial in our comment section. Like it if you found it useful and subscribe to our YouTube channel NGO Aroha to be notified about upcoming videos.